Good morning, everyone. Uh, honorable guests, dear Vice Chancellor, colleagues, students, and friends. Uh, I am Joseph Chen, a professor at the School of Journalism and Communication, and the director of the Center for Chinese Media and Comparative Communication Research. Please accept my warm welcome to the school and the C Center. Uh, you may wonder what the C Center is. Uh, we call our center the C Center because there are so many C's in its full name, like Chinese media, comparative communication, and center itself. The conference is held to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the school. This is indeed an occasion for us to reflect and to look uh, ahead. Within the span of 50 years, the school has grown from an obscure department into one of the most recognized schools around the world as shown by the international rankings it has received. I would like to tell you a little bit more about research-related activities. Our school was the first to start up research education in communication at a graduate level in Hong Kong. The MPhil program was launched in 1977 by the late Professor Wilberstrand, one of the founding fathers of communication studies. The doctoral program was established in 1993, also the first of its kind in Hong Kong. I take pride in informing you that our graduate students have won 20 top paper awards in the major international conferences in the field, such as ICA, NCA, AHMC, in the last four years. Professor Wilberstram, somewhere now, should have been happy to hear of the good news. The C Center was, that was established in 2012 to promote and support comparative research on Greater China and beyond. The Center publishes two high quality academic journals. The first is the Chinese Journal of Communication. Uh, it is in English, published by Raleigh, and indexed in SSCI. The second is Communication and Society. It is published in Chinese by the University Press, listed in the SSCI of Taiwan, and the recipient of the honor of being the first non-English affiliate journal of International Communication Association. Our colleagues are not just active researchers themselves. They seek to reach out to the international research community and aspire to make this place the, glo the global hub of exchange and communication. This conference serves exactly these purposes. On this note, I would like to invite Professor Francis Lee, the co-convener of the conference, to extend his welcome to you and say a few more words about the conference. Thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Francis Lee, uh, Professor and Head of Graduate Division at the School of Journalism and Communication, Chinese Institute of Hong Kong. Uh, and again, welcome everyone to the conference on comparative communication research. Now, comparative, comparative research, of course, is not a new thing. Uh, social scientists have conducted comparative analysis for many, de many decades, and some may even claim that social si science studies are always comparative, implicitly or explicitly, in some ways. Uh, but arguably, in the field of communication studies, the last decade or so has witnessed a proliferation of interest in comparative research, and there are more and more uh, comparative projects with impressive scale, interesting design, innovative methodologies, and meaningful findings. And so when the conference organizing committee came to decide upon the theme of the conference, we say comparative research is actually a no-brainer, almost a no-brainer. We all agree that it is an important theme that we can pick as the main theme for the uh, uh, international conference. Um, there can be numerous factors behind the growth of comparative studies in the field in the past decade, uh, such as the call for internationalizing communication studies, and comparative research may be seen as a way to move the field toward that direction. Or, practically speaking, the advancement of communication technologies, which basically made international collaboration much easier and much more feasible than in the past. Uh, in any case, the growth, we can see, uh, uh, as we believe, the growth of comparative research is likely to continue into the future. Against this background, we believe that it would be important for us to take stock of what has been done and critically consider the past, present, and future 
of comparative communication research. Um, so what is the current status of the field? Uh, what are some of its most significant contributions? Uh, to what extent has comparative research helped internationalize communication studies? Uh, what are the limitations of existing studies or what are the limitations of the way the very idea of comparison itself is being conceptualized and understood in current studies? Um, to what extent, uh, what are the not yet realized promises and potential of comparative studies? Um, we hope that the conference can be the platform for us to think about some of these and other important questions. We are very honored to have the presence of distinguished scholars from the United States, uh, Canada, Britain, Germany, the Netherlands, Israel, Australia, Taiwan, and Singapore with us at the conference. And of course, it's also a pleasure to have our very good friends from uh, Baptist University of Hong Kong and City University of Hong Kong uh, joining us uh, these two days. Um, last but not, but not least, uh, as uh, Pro Professor Joseph Chen has already mentioned, this international conference is also an event celebrating the 50th anniversary of the School of Journalism and Communication. Um, the School of Journalism and Communication is uh, actually two years younger than the Chinese University of Hong Kong itself. Uh, CUHK has just celebrated its own uh, 50 years uh, anniversary um, two years ago in 2013. And uh, this morning, we are also very, very honored to have our Vice Chancellor, uh, Pro Professor Joseph Song, uh, who we just knew that would just fly back to Hong Kong this very early morning from Glasgow, uh, uh, and uh, uh, just from the flight, and you know, to just uh, come straight uh, to us and uh, to give us support, and to also say a few words to our guests. Um, so may I now invite Professor Song. Thank you, Francis. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, again, a very warm welcome to you uh, for joining us in Hong Kong. This morning, London Heathrow is two degree, and Glasgow was minus five. So compared to these two cities, uh, we are much warmer here. And I would like to once again uh, thank you for joining us in the International Conference on Comparative Communication Research. You have just heard that our Department of Journalism and Communication is 50 years old this year. They are two years junior to the university itself. Two, 50 years is really a short history compared to some of our uh, more senior universities around the world. However, many changes have occurred in the last 50 years. For the school, it has actually come a long way. 50 years ago, it was a very small local journalism department comprising only two lecturers and six students. Now we have a fairly international school with 350 undergraduates and 450 postgraduate students in a total of eight distinct programs. We're also very proud to tell you that many alumni from this school are now serving in key positions in the local media industry and in higher education and related fields. In fact, um, there are, if you go to the newspaper stand and check out the newspapers in Hong Kong, many newspapers here with the chief editors coming from this school. But we are not complacent about this achievement. We have vowed to seek even greater success in advancing its status as a leading school of media and communication. Given this track record and our strength in the faculty and our renewed commitment, I have good reasons to believe that this school will scale new height in the years to come. Hong Kong is a very busy city and very diversified culturally. And in fact, some people say Hong Kong has the most, uh, the largest number of newspaper and medias uh, around the world compared to other cities in terms of its population. And despite the outcries against self-censorship from time to time, it is fair to say that we are very lucky that we still continue to enjoy freedom of speech, of press, and academic inquiry in Hong Kong. We as educators and researchers have benefited from this freedom 
and will continue to cherish and defend this freedom as our core values. In fact, I think the social media is taking a great part of our communications. Nowadays, um, when we see young boys and girls going out for dinner, they don't talk to each other. They're just reading their iPhones. And I wonder what dating will lead us at these days. And the Chinese university is recognized as an institution uh, of higher ranking in the Asia Pacific region. And we truly embrace our school of journalism and communication and would like to make this a very international specialty in the university. Therefore, we are very happy to see all of you here coming from different continents around the world. Your sharing of wisdom and your guidance will help us to develop a better program and a better de department in the future. The theme of this research, uh, of this um, symposium, comparative communication research, fits in really very well with the goal of the university. Our goal is to combine the East and the West and blending modernity with tradition. So we look forward to you sharing uh, with us your experience in your own country and also uh, to uh, help us to build a stronger program in the future. And once again, I'd like to congratulate the department for its 50th birthday. There are actually many 50th birthdays uh, these days because uh, a lot of departments were built in the first two years uh, after the birth of the university itself. And, uh, but this is really one of the departments that we are very proud of, and I hope you have a fruitful uh, discussion in the next two days. Uh, despite the weather, which looks more like London, uh, Hong Kong is still a very uh, warm and very open society. And I hope you enjoy your stay here. Thank you. Uh, shall we move to uh, the steps outside? Yeah, the, uh, let's do it uh, within five or ten minutes, okay? Thank you.